Hello and welcome everybody to another edition of the Agent Mastermind Tuesday Training with your host, the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. Scotty Hudspeth. How's it going in Kalamazoo today, my friend? Excellent day, but I'm actually in Plymouth today, my friend. So oh, I, I did a little sneak sneak uh, over to Plymouth. I've been here the last few days just hanging out with some uh, co co-workers and having a good time. Had a couple people fly out from Florida. And one out from Indiana, so I, I uh, we just wish them well and safe travels back home. Very so cool. Here we are. Um, so today, real quick for starters, just uh, everybody joining us for the first time, we do this every single Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you would like a the recording and the PowerPoint from the last eight classes, get with your loan professional that sent you here. They can get you the login and password. And then, last but not least, you join us on our favorite uh, private. Facebook group where we have a lot of engagement, interaction, questions. It's just, uh, I don't know, just a lot of good stuff going on there. Um, we're almost at 1,300, so I'm excited about that. It is. Guys, by the way, that little Facebook book private group, it is quite the quite a community of top producing real estate agents across the country. And what's really cool about it is the exchange of ideas. Uh, somebody will post a question or a comment or something they're working on, and, and it becomes a string of 14 or 15 or 20 posts and comments and, and everybody say, hey, this is what I've done too or try it this way. So it becomes a community of implementers, of like-minded individuals for you to, to use as a resource. And what's cool about groups, if you don't know about them, what's, what happens, it's like they're like Vegas. What happens on the group stays in the group. Hey, there you go. I like that. I like that, man. Yes. So there's no fee for the group. There's no fee to be there. So it's 100% free and just a lot of good information, a lot of good questions, a lot of good content. So um, Feel free to join us. So, for starters, I want to I want to just cover something that I think is important. I, I talked about this last Friday in our uh, MMA class, and uh, it's called Thirty Thousand Mornings. I read this book, and it kind of man, it just really hit home. And I was just sharing this story with another another partner of mine here, and um, we all have when we're born about thirty thousand mornings. And so, my question to you is: the average person lives about thirty thousand mornings. How many do you have left? And what are you doing with those mornings? Are you do you have balance? Do you have health, you have family, you have all that. I mean, there's so many things that are you, do you hear the birds whistling in the morning? I mean, I just, I always try to acknowledge what's going on around me because it's so, so important. And are you letting, or are you letting them pass you by, which I, you know, is a kind of a scary thought. Like we're all so busy with our businesses and trying to be successful and trying to learn and trying to stay up on these tool systems and strategies. But are we really like, like taking in what is happening around us and the people that are around us and all that stuff. So I just want just to maybe take two seconds at each day and just go, man, this is awesome. It could be much worse for so many people. Like, and you may think, okay, it's not where I, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm okay and I'm doing good and I have a family and I have my health and all that stuff. So, um, and are you giving it your all so that every morning is filled with happiness, excitement, and freedom? So that's kind of where that's kind of what we're all about here on the on the Agent Mastermind, and we're going to uh, spend more time on that, just helping you to get to where you're having a great life, but also have freedom doing it. So that's that's, that's the key. Is it's, it's our entire goal, Scotty, is to help yep. people find freedom. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, another thing, every morning, and, you know, and this is something that I ask myself, and I and I recommend you do the same thing. Am I moving forward or backwards? I don't believe in standing still because otherwise somebody else is just going to come in and like run you over, okay? Am I staying in front of my past and current clients so they remember me and what I do for a living? That's an important question. I have to, you have to be doing some sort of that every single day, whether it's calling only one person or calling 10 people, set a number to it and just go, all right, I'm going to block this time out and make sure that my past client, current clients remember what I do for a living. It's just so huge. Am I paying it forward not expecting anything in return? Like are you giving something of value to the people you work with? Are you letting them build deep relationships with them? Are you giving them um, something that's going to help them short term, long term, having those deep, you know, hard discussions sometimes? And do I have balance, health, family, and business? I used to be 99% business. I've switched that. I'm now I'm now equally all in health, family, and business, which is such a great feeling. And actually, my business is flourishing from that. So something I like to cover and just kind of bring it to the forefront. And uh, am I appreciating all that life has to give and not take anything for granted? So just a couple little things right there for you. Last week, we covered results in advance listing presentation. If you did not watch it, I highly, greatly recommend that you go watch that. We talked about the law of reciprocity, briefly touched on using Google Drive for pre-listing. 
And then, of course, I gave you this, which we're going to go over right now, and we had just a ton of people go, hey, Scott, let's cover that. What is that? What are you talking about? Let's do this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about Google Drive, guys. Um, this week, we're going to talk about how to stay in front of your approved buyer leads automatically or as your assistant would say. I mean, as long as I call it automatic, as long as I'm not doing it, right? That's, that's Autom automatic, Scotty. <laughs> Autom automation, getting mortgage ready leads, how to stay in front of them. Because here's the thing. It's not just about a buyer lead that it can buy now. It's about a buyer that has friendly, family, friends, and coworkers, and neighbors. So if you're staying in front of them and building a list and just really kindly sending them an email on a regular basis, putting them on a path to get mortgage ready, um, work with your mortgage professional to do that. We all have, I mean, I don't know how many are on the call, but we all have get mortgage ready programs. And it's just guiding people down the path of, okay, you didn't get into this situation overnight. It's not going to, we're not going to get you out of it overnight. But if we take these steps towards getting you mortgage ready, uh, we'll get you into a home and, and together, we'll, you know, let, let's do this together and here's the path we need to take. And then, of course, staying in front of your current listings. Um, you can use this for, we talked about last week, the pre-listing. We'll cover that a little bit again. Pending, closing, and after closing. There's all kinds of different things that you can use Google Drive for. I tell you, man, it's, if you embrace technology, this is one to embrace. You know, I get a lot of questions. Why not Google, Why not um, uh, Dropbox or why not Box.com and all that stuff? There's just different things that you can do with Google Drive that are, um, that are just very useful, and I think you'll see that as I go through, and feel free to ask any questions as we go along. We'll try and hit. I, I personally find Google Drive much much easier to use, a little more user friendly than than the others. And not to say that those are bad systems. I use Dropbox as well. I just it's it's for the things that you're going to be showing today, Scotty, for listing reports, for for updates on buyer leads, things like that. I find Google Drive just so much easier to 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 update first and foremost, and then to get Absolutely. to the recipients to share that link is just Correct. so much easier for me in Google Drive. Don't get me wrong; like if I'm doing videos and I need to share that with my assistant, I still use Dropbox for some things. Sure. But for the most part, like when I'm creating forms or or things like that, I'm using Google Drive. I mean, I've got two live forms of from Google Drive right now on two right different now. websites that are working for me. Everybody I meet with uses Google Drive in one you know, one way or another. It's just so powerful. There's so many different ways. Like, well, we can't cover them all today, but I think you'll get a gist of why this is so powerful and how to remove some of the headaches using Google Drive that's in the cloud so that you can access it on your computer, your Apple, and your iPad, no matter where you're at. I use this thing. I mean, I have rental properties that I have on there. I have all the tenants. I have all the addresses. I have what the rents are, what my payments are, all that stuff. So um, first one I come up with, Paul, it's really cool, man. You know, it's just cool. Um, it's in the clouds. It's available. It's you can share it. You can. I mean, it's just always there. Um, the search criteria. I don't know if you guys know this, but all the Google products, if it has a search function, is the same algorithm as what Google is. If you go to Google.com and search anything, Google Drive, anything you do, Gmail, all has the same search function. That's unbelievably powerful. If you want to search a word inside a document, if you want to search. Uh, like I can't remember what the actual title was, but I remember what was in it. You can find that stuff inside Google Drive. It's just amazingly powerful. Okay, it's in the cloud. It's available. When I say in the clouds, you can access it from other people's computer as long as you can get online. And I'm going to show you a way to access it on your computer without internet access. But as long as you're online, you can access your Google Drive folders, files, Excel spreadsheets, Word docs, anywhere, anytime, any place. Really, really cool. Uh, available on every device, can share with sellers, buyers, assistants, team, whatever you want to do, uh, your assistant. Never lose a document again. I don't know how many times have you started a Word doc, your computer dies right in the middle of a three-page written paper. And my, and my daughter, like I shared my daughter with this, and she's like, Dad, I wish you had hit me about five minutes ago before I started this paper. So um, it's just a great way to never lose a document because Google Drive automatically saves itself every single, I think it's every second, but I, it's always updating itself and saving it, so you're not going to lose anything from it, all right? Provide results in advance. This is a great way to share with your sellers. Here's how I'm going to update you on a daily, weekly, monthly basis of what I said I'm going to do for you, and here's how I'm going to track it, and here's how I'm going to update you and send it to you. Huge, huge change. It's, it's a huge game changer, okay? Easily make a copy of the form. This is probably one of my favorites because you spend a lot of time creating a form. You're like, man, I love this form, but man, what if I lose it? So 
or what if I want to use it for every single buyer or every single seller and I don't want to recreate the wheel and have to redo this Excel spreadsheet or um, I'm going to show you literally with faster than your eyes can physically fathom it, it creates an exact document of what you just created and then you can call it whatever you want and not have to redo anything. So uh, I love, love, love that one because sometimes a lot of work goes into creating an Excel document that has something of value that you want to use over and over again but just not that same document. So automatically saves for you, which is my favorite. So for starters, to get signed up, and this is a cool part, you don't need a Google email address. To have Google Drive, I would recommend using Gmail, but that's another class, another time, another place. So if you want to go in, sign in, create an account if you don't have one, and I'm going to show you how to do one without your uh, Gmail account, without your uh, using your actual email. So if you want a Gmail account, this, of course, when you sign up for Gmail, you get everything that comes with Google, which is uh, just uh, oodles and oodles of stuff. So here's your here's where your drive sets. So when you sign up, and I'm going to show you in just a minute how to sign up for it and not have to use a Gmail. You can use your whatever. You can use a Hotmail, uh, uh, whatever, Comcast email, whatever email you want to have your Google Drive. So here's your drive right here. When you go to Google.com, you're going to see all this images, maps, play, YouTube, news, Gmail, Drive, Calendar. I love how Google is just so clean. They've always been like crisp and clean and just whatever. It's just there's not a whole lot of ads like Yahoo and stuff like that. Some people love Yahoo, but I get distracted with those news that they put out there. So I love this and the fact that I can go right to where I want and not be distracted. So drive is where you want to click on. Here's what comes up. So you got a bunch of different stuff. Create a new document. Or this one right here is you can upload any document you currently have on your system. Excel spreadsheet. Just about anything. I'm not going to like Word doc, PowerPoint, every single thing you can think of you can upload into Google Docs. Um, here's your My Drive. A couple more important, shared with me. So when people, other people share with you or you share with them, um, it shows you what document is shared and who you shared it with. Pretty cool. Actually has a picture of them. If they have their Google Plus set up, has a picture of them. Pretty cool. And then you have your offline. This is what I, I don't know if I recommend this, but I do it just because I have a newer laptop and I got a ton of storage on my laptop, so I like to have in work if because I travel on an airplane and sometimes it doesn't have internet. So this allows me to work on any Google Doc that I have in the system, which is every single thing that I have. And as I edit it, it saves the change, but then also updates to Google Drive online once I hit internet again. Okay, so you're gonna to find your this offline thing. You're gonna have to click on this left. So this little left thing is gonna be there, and then none of this is gonna show up down here. So click on last and then the offline shows up. All right, and then download drive to your PC. So here's the cool part about this part is you can download this Google Drive to your PC so that you can just throw files into it and it automatically goes to your drive, kind of like Dropbox. If you, if you use Dropbox, it's the exact same thing. You can actually automatically save stuff on your computer automatically to your Google Drive so you don't have to ever worry about it, not having it at home when you get there or sales agreements maybe appraisals, maybe home inspections, pest inspections, all these all this stuff that you go, God, I wish I, oh, I got to drive back to the office and get that. No longer, just save it to your Google Drive and start folders. We're going to show you how to do that as well, okay? Make sense on that? Any questions on that, Paul? I'm not sure on that specific part. I'm not. I'm, I'm a little behind on questions. I'm trying to catch up to you. They're coming pretty fast as you're as you're going. So I'm trying to. I'm I'm a probably four questions behind where you're at currently on your screen. But we are catching up to them, my friend. And and if it's a question that comes up, that's a really. I, I'm flagging a couple of them for when you finish your presentation. We can kind of come back to a couple of these really good questions that a lot of people have okay. the same question. If that's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, love it, man, love it. So, awesome. Um, Google Docs, here's your choices. Like I say choices, so you got a folder. So a folder is something like if you want to create a buyer folder. So all your buyers would go into a, this fo like a folder called buyer folder. And then kind of like if you have a notebook. And a notebook, inside the notebook you have folders. So kind of like that. So your folders, you get buyer folder, seller folder, maybe get mortgage ready folder, maybe uh, past clients folder, whatever you want to do. And you can move, you can move files inside or um, documents inside your folder to different folders if you want to. So just know that that's kind of like creating your own little organize. I don't know how organized you want to be or not organized. I don't really have a whole lot of folders. Um, so, but you can get crazy organized with the thing. Or you can tell your assistant to stay crazy organized with it. That's what, that, that'd be my preference. 
documents just like a Word doc. So if you're used to using Word, uh, Microsoft Word, this is exactly the same thing for the most part, except for it's in the cloud. So anything you do is automatically saved and allows you to uh, allows you all the Word type um, situations. Presentation. This is a PowerPoint. If you want to create a PowerPoint, a lot of people use presentations inside Google, uh, and, I'm, and I'm calling it Google Doc, but it's actually Google Drive. So I'm going to change that real quick. I'm still hung up on the Doc because that's what it used to be called. So Google Drive, there we go. So uh, spreadsheet, a spreadsheet is an Excel spreadsheet, which we're going to cover today in great detail. I like creating a seller spreadsheet or buyer spreadsheet or uh, maybe a master lead sheet of every lead that comes in. And maybe if you have Boomtown and uh, they all have nice CRM systems inside there and ways to keep track of it. But maybe the ones you talk to, you want to put in a separate spreadsheet so that your assistant can follow up with them or put them into a database or something like that. So that would be an Excel spreadsheet there. We're going to give you some ideas on that. And then a form, we're going to, we're going to probably do a whole class on this. This is like an opt-in or a, God, what's a, what are the words for opt-ins? Um, where you put in your name and email address and phone number and then you, it takes you like, hey, opt into this and get a free ebook. Or it, you can actually, and this is amazing to do this, is create forms with Google Docs or Google Drive that allows you to have an opt-in on your blog or website or just to send an email maybe for a survey, that would be a great thing to do with that. And then drawings, you can check this out. This is pretty crazy. You can make flyers. You can do all kinds of stuff. I prefer PowerPoint 2010, but that's just up to you. If you want to create flyers or whatever you want to do, you can do it in the drawing section of Google Docs. So a lot of options for you to choose from. We mainly do the spreadsheet just because it's so nice to keep track of stuff. And then we do the documents, and then we, I always upload my presentations, like the one I'm showing you today, just in case my computer dies and I get to start up at 12 o'clock today, and guess what? My computer's dead. I can hop on anybody else's computer, and I'll show you this, and, and use this presentation anywhere, anytime, anyplace. I could even do it on my iPhone if I had to, which is crazy, but I could do it. Pretty cool, right? So just a security base for me, um, Google Drive online documents with real-time collaboration, web-based documents, spreadsheets, drawings, presentations that let users edit the same file. So for example, say, and I, say Paul and I are on the same team, we're working on a project together, we're working on a listing presentation, and he's got some ideas, I've got some ideas, and we want to work on this thing together instead of separate and then have to piece them together. We can just both share this document, and he can put in his part, I can put in my part, and together, this is the cool part, not being in the same office, we can be in separate ends of the world and still talk and collaborate and work on this thing together as if we're sitting in the same room. All right? Pretty cool stuff there. Same file at the same time, so you always have the latest version, which is cool. Google Drive is secure powered by the web, giving you flexibility to produce from your desktop, on the road, home, mobile, even when you're uh, offline. So we just shared that with you already. Google Drive works on the browser. It works on every single browser. I've never had any complaints of anybody saying, hey, it doesn't work on Windows or Mac or Linux or anything like that. So, um, it, of course, it supports Docs at XLS, which is the Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoints, and PDFs. Uh, pretty cool. File storage Google Drive is always accessible from anywhere in the world. Um, administrators can manage file sharing permissions system-wide, and can document owners can share and revoke file access anytime. So, for example, if you have a, maybe an assistant in the Philippines and you give them access to a Google Drive that has all your contacts or all your maybe logs and passwords and you want to revoke that, you can take that away or just delete them as a shared user instantly from any device, which is pretty cool. All right. So big question, and then we're going to go right into Google Docs, is how often do you call your sellers? Anybody want to give me an answer on that? Anybody want to chirp up and go, hey, I... Uh, I call them every week, or I call them every day, or I call them once a month, or um, here's what typically I hear. Do you find yourself hating to call your sellers once a week, as you know you should, but don't because you have nothing but bad news, thus losing listings and future referrals, because you're not making the call? Now, this hopefully is not you, so we've got some people here one time per week, three times a week. Awesome, guys. This is cool. Weekly. So, um, so here's the thing. What if... Here's the, I love this part. What if I help the seller or buyer come to realize that, and it's mainly for the seller, that if there is an issue, it's their fault, the seller, and that it's price related and not related to your efforts or actions? Because 
you're updating them on a weekly basis with like where the traffic's coming from, how much traffic is coming in. Let's just kind of share with it. So a list and report to help you get more leads. So weekly report, property report using Google Docs. Save this, um, ch check this out. So let's just kind of go live. But share with your sellers automatically when updated. So what if you knew that when you updated the, the Google Doc or Google Drive, that it it was automatically going to be updated for them and they were going to get an email within 15 minutes. Pretty cool, right? Set the sellers up with Google accounts free. So what if you got there and you're like, hey, if you decide to go with me, here's how I'm going to keep updated with you. It literally takes less than five minutes to set them up with a Google account and have it come into their email address. Why not do that for them, right? Set them up with, uh, so, it's, so they receive updates automatically. And I'll show you that button when the weekly list report is updated by your team. doesn't have to be you. And then email, or if they're like, you know what, I'm just not taking up. I don't want to do it. You can email the report if needed through Google Drive, and I'll show you how to do that. So this is kind of what it looks like. Let's just go drive really. Quick. Let's just go live really quick. Um, I'm so stuck on Drive now that I. Uh... All right, so I'm going to Google. I'm going to click on Drive, and I'm going to click on. I'm going to share with you weekly listing report. All right. So as you can see, here's weekly listing report, and on the right hand side, I'm going to go back really quick. On the right hand side, here's all the pictures that I shared with you, and here's that little drop down that says more. And then it says offline, it has owner, type, more, trash, all items, download to your PC. So there's all that stuff right there. All right. Here's all my Google Docs, all kinds of good stuff here. Here's the ones that I shared with me. And I, like I shared with you on this picture, it shares who I'm sharing it with, which is pretty cool. So I got a bunch of people that I'm sharing documents with. And as we collaborate together as a team, we might go, hey, I created this, share this with me. And then we all kind of share it with each other. It's pretty cool. And I don't know of a number that I think it's unlimited, but I, uh, we've had a little problem when we get up to like sharing with 25 people, but obviously you shouldn't have that issue. So 15, 20, you know, so these are all the people that I have folders with, that I share with, that we just kind of keep it there, all right? So let me just share this weekly list report, 8, 9 to 7, 8, 9 to 7 test drive. All right, so when you first set this up and the, the actual PowerPoint that I gave you, let me just go back to this really quick. You can get this exact same, same thing that I'm sharing with you, which is right here. So if you go here, let's just go here really quick, and you download this and upload this into Google Drive, it'll look exactly like I'm sharing with you, right? So you don't have to create anything else. You don't have to think about it. Here it is. It looks like a PDF, but if you download it, it's going to be a Nextel spreadsheet, okay? All right, check this out. So I'm inside Google Drive, and all I got to do is I um, I have weekly list report. Now, what here's very important what you want to do. You want to make sure that you keep a master, okay? So this is my master. Now I wouldn't put all the information here because then if I went to copy it, it would copy all the information, and then I would have to go delete it, okay? So when you first get this and download this from this link right here, budyearl.com forward slash weekly list report. You upload it into Google Docs. This is what it's going to look like. So what you want to do is go File. This is the coolest part about this whole thing because, like, all this stuff that I've already put in here, you're like, okay, I, I want to remember to do that. I just, I just maybe won't remember. I'm going to click on File, and then it says Make a Copy. See that right there? See that okay, Paul? Yep. I'm right, right cool. there. I'm seeing you. Make a file. So if I make a copy, and I go, all right, I'm going to a listing presentation tomorrow, and the address is 7... 35 Lake Shore Drive, all right? Now, you don't want to check this box. It says share it with the same people. I don't want to share it with anybody because I don't have new collaborators. Now, if it's just your assistant, then maybe you might want to, but it's just as easy to share it um, later on down the road. So I'm going to call it whatever the listing presentation is, 738 Lake Shore Drive. Click OK. And within a second, it's going to create the exact to the T listing presentation or weekly update that I just had for 897 test drive. All right? Pretty cool. So I still have my master. Here's my master. So I can delete that, work inside the 738, and always keep the master so that nothing's in it. Like this right here should not be there. So I would put in the price. And so when I create it, it's got a blank sheet, and I can start fresh with everything. So I usually delete the one I don't want to playing around and just in case I don't you know I don't want to mess up my master so you of course this would probably stay the same so you got your name in there best number to reach you add copy some of the stuff might stay the same assistance name assistant content info list price 
text code, weekly distance report, website, whatever you want. I mean, you can go crazy with the thing, right? QR, number of QR codes scanned, number of text infos, how many views total, how many blog hits, how many hits on Craigslist, Backpage, Truly, Zillow, Oodle. I mean, this thing can go 50, 50, I mean, you can go crazy with that, right? How many calls on the property? How many emails on the property? Change in MLS competition, pending price reduction sales, number of brochures taken from the box, open house activity or lack of, and then other agents when I called them. So, hey, just seller, we just want to let you know that, and the cool part about this, see there's just this number in sites, results, week one, week two. You could actually create another one. See this little thing that shows up? You guys see that arrow? And it's kind of hidden unless I hold my mouse over it. See right there? So if I want to create one that says comments, so I click on this, and it says insert one to the right. Got a blank sheet. I want to call this comments. There we go. And I want to change this, of course, to yellow to match the rest. And I'll just come up here and make sure that box is highlighted. And here's the fill of color, and I want to make it yellow. All right? Now, here's what I like, and you can do this however you want. If I was to go and put a bunch of comments in here and just keep running on sentence and keep going and going and going and going, something, this might get crazy, right? And I click go, and now I'm going to have a bunch of comments inside here. Now, what I like to do personally is to have it blank. And this, I, want, I wanted to show you you can do this. And if you right-click on any one of these boxes, okay, it says insert comment. See that right there? And then you can type in the comment that you want. So here's the comment that I want, and it's not going to clutter up any of the one spaces. And it's still going to be there, but it's going to put a little yellow mark there, or, or like triangle in the corner. And then you just got to hold your mouse over it to actually do the comments there. So it keeps it a little cleaner if you want to. All right? Um, so that is there. You can edit or delete it, of course, just by clicking on it. And I'm going to delete the comment, and I'm done. Now here's the cool thing. When you set up your seller, and you get there, and you say, hey, Mr. Seller, here, you know, I'm going to do this, this, this for you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Just by the way, I'm going to share this document with you. Do you have a Google account? Yes, no. Okay, no. All right. Well, let's go to this. Um, let me just go there really quick and show you guys how this works. You get a copy of this PowerPoint. Just connect with the loan professional that sent you here. So it's, it's uh, accounts.google.com forward slash new account. All right. And you're going to get a copy of this. But let me just go there and show you how this is different than actually signing up for a new account. So you say, Mr. Seller, let me just sign you up really quick. It takes like five minutes. And let's just fill out the information. We'll use your current email address. What is your current email address? And here, see where it says, I prefer to use my current email address. All you get is click on that. And then put in their email address. And you're good to go. Create a password. Birthday, gender, mobile phone and fill out a little puzzle, and you are good to go. Literally within three minutes, you can have a new account for them using their current email address so that when you update anything inside this Google Doc, they're going to get notified. All right? Does that make sense? All right. So now I'm going to share this with my seller. Check this out. So see this little share button right here? It says private to only me, only you can access. So I'm going to click on share. And what opens up is a cool little document that says add people. And I want to add Paul Baxter. Paul Baxter is a seller I just met with. He's gonna, I'm going to sell his home. And I want to add a little message. There's a little message right here that I'm going to say, hey, Paul, great meeting with you. You, I will be sending this on a weekly basis, whatever. Whatever you want to say there, really nice little message. And here's the cool part. You can say, I don't want my seller to edit this. I just want them to be able to view it, right? So if I leave it as can edit, Paul can go in and edit, delete, change anything he wants to. If I click this little drop down and say can comment or can view, all right? He can comment if he wants or he can view. I prefer to just put can view, and I just want him to see it, kind of see the updates. It's up to you and your comfort level with your sellers. Um, and of course, you always have a copy. You could recreate it really quickly if you had to. All right? Share and save. So within a couple seconds, Paul gets the login and says, "Scott Hugbeth, you want to share him that, Paul? You want to share that with him?" Sure. I, I'm, I've got it open on my screen now. Well, I've got the email open. I'm, I'm gonna 
if you want, I can wait and leave it in my inbox until so you can sure. see what it looks like when it comes yeah. to the inbox. So I just switched it over to Paul, and now Paul has opened his email, and it says Google Docs weekly list and report 897 test drive. All right. Was edited see, recently. Oh, it was edited recently. Okay, so we okay. That's not the actual one then. Oh, think, did you send me another one? Yeah, I did. All right, there's the new one. There it is, right there. There it is. Seven thirty-eight Lakeshore Drive. So it says I have shared an item with you. See that? And there it says, I have shared an item with you. Hey, Paul, great to meet with you. I will be sending this on a weekly basis. And if he clicks on it, guess what he sees? He sees the weekly listener report. All done nice and tidy. All right? And what's fantastic, it's, it's in my Google Drive now as well. That's crazy. That's so So cool. it's in my Google Drive as well, in addition to Scotty's Google Drive. So it's, it's, okay. we're, we've got the shared document. It automatically puts it in your Google Drive, so you don't have to look for it. Now you don't have to get complicated with it. So I'll take the I'll I'll take the uh, thing back there, buddy. Whoops. Do you need me to do it, or you got it? Uh, no, I got it. Got cool. It. I'm gonna cool. give it to Mike. Mike was excited today. He got excited. For <laughs> he got nervous. I think more is the is the. <laughs> he got nervous. All right. So uh, so here's the okay. Here's the next thing. So what I'm going to share with Paul. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to your screen, Paul. Actually, I can do it right here. So just pretend like I'm looking at Paul's screen, your screen. It doesn't matter. See, Paul, see, and here's the cool part. When Paul is in here, which Paul's the seller, and he comes in here and checks this out, and I log in at the same time, guess what it shows me? It shows me live that Paul is actually checking the drive out. All right? That's pretty cool. Now, here's how to show the seller how to get notified every time I update this document or my assistant, whoever updates it on a weekly, daily basis is you click on tools and where see where it says notification rules right there so tools notification rules click on that inside here it says any changes are made so if anything is changed inside this document either whether it's the one I already have here that's what's already there or something new that I add to it any changes are made all right email me right away okay any changes, so you go to tools, oops, I screwed this over, yep, yeah. so tools, notification rules, any changes are made, email me right away. So I, I'm going to get an email to scottybud23, or the seller, whatever email we set up for them, is going to get an email every time something changes in this document. So you don't have to worry whether, okay, i got to send him the email, you know, I didn't send it to him. If you set him up, and he's going he's gonna to get it, all right? Now, you still want to make the phone call, of course, but if I click Save, it's done, and I can add as many people. If I want to add the seller, the mother of the seller, the father of the seller, the brother of the seller, the uncle of the seller, I can update everybody in the party if I want to. Pretty cool, right? Now, here's the other thing. Say the seller is just like, you know what, I'm not a techie person. I just, just can you email me something, or can you call me with an update? Absolutely, whatever. But, you know, a lot of people like it, for the most part, like to be have something physical, tangible, I mean, they love to hear from you on a weekly basis, but why not email them the same thing and then follow it up with a phone call? And so you click on File, Email as Attachment. Right, see right there? File, Email as Attachment. And they say, you know what, Scott? I just don't, I don't want to sign up for one more thing. I don't want a Google account. Okay, no worries. I'm going to email you as an attachment this document that show you where we're at on a weekly basis every time I update it, okay? So File, Email as Attachment. And then it's going to let you choose how you want to email it. Now, I would prefer that you email it as a PDF. It's more likely to get opened and be able to be opened as a PDF. Most computers just are better at that. So I'm going to choose PDF, and I'm going to go Paul. I'm going to email Paul the up weekly update. Hey, uh, hey, Paul, week of June 18th, just wanted to update you on some activity. Uh, talk soon, All right? And I'm going to push send. So I'm going to email Paul, and he will get the email saying that I shared the doc with you. Let's share that, Paul, if you don't mind. Uh, right there. All right, brother. Did you get that yet? Boom. Um, I th yes, right there. there. It is. So it is attached, 738 Lakeshore Drive, hey, week of June 18th, says my little attachment, and a PDF right a little bit above. Yeah, you can view it in Google Drive, but you or can I also can download have it. a PDF to download it right there, 
and download it so he can open it up as a PDF attachment. Now, if I download it, I can even take this if I save it, and I can then upload that upload. as a file to my Google right. Drive. So there's a lot of different ways to get the same thing to happen. Right. Uh, but what Scott just did, I mean, he's making it easy. He's simply sharing this with me, and I can simply just do the normal thing, just open the thing up, and it's there. Yeah. And it's ready to go for me. And, and so I can see what's happening. Week, and get an email from you. Whether, you know, and maybe do both. Maybe update it, send him an email saying, hey, just want to make sure you got it one way or another, the PDF or the, the shared drive. Either way, I just want to make sure you got it. Just following up with a phone call. Hey, we're getting some activity and whatever you normally do. I mean, just you guys are great at what you do, so just that conversation takes place. But you are setting it up from the very beginning when you first get to the listing presentation. Here's how I'm going to update you, and here's the convenience of that. All right. Plus, they're getting something. Holly's got a great question here, Scotty. Yeah. It says, "What is the difference between notify when any changes are made or when it says anything is changed on this sheet? What's the difference in those two? Is that just redundancy? Google is famous for redundant stuff, so that could be just redundancy. But um, when you're in that share section, it says any um, you know an update when you're in the update you on what changes you know when you're talking about what to update it." Yeah. Then that update four says any, when any changes are made or anything is changed on this sheet. Isn't that about the same thing? No. Well, and um, yes and no. Here's the thing: is you can actually see where it says sheet one down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, okay. So if I had three sheet, sheets, right. I could just share right. sheet three with them. I get you. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yep. So, so, so that's if there's additional sheets on that. Correct. So if I have a sheet two, like a sheet two might be. Maybe the home inspection to the home. Maybe sheet two uh, might be past that makes inspection. Sense. Maybe a survey. I mean, literally, you can upload anything into this thing and have it there. So now, will could, it do that email that you just did automatically right away? So yes, automatically, it'll send an email when an update is made. You can set that rule. Yeah. So if I like before the end of the class, if I if I update, um, let's see, if I update, okay, we got uh, uh, hits. We got. 10 hits on this, we got weekly list report, we got uh, 25 hits on that, website leak, we got 15, and YouTube, we got 5 hits on that, and blog link, we got 4, and back page, we got uh, 35. So after, about, after I stop typing here, and within a couple minutes, it'll email Paul saying, hey, Paul, Scott Hutzbeth has updated the Google, the 738 Lakeshore Drive Google Doc. You'll get an email of that within a couple minutes. Automatically, yeah. Now um, he will get an email, but he has to set the notification rules as well on his end. So that's where, when you're with the seller, he has to set the notification rules, right? Because if Paul can go in and edit this thing, which I didn't give him editing privilege, but if he was to able to update this, like he's in here right now, then I would want to be notified if Paul updated it. So maybe. Maybe they wanted to ask me a question, or hey, uh, you know, you said we got 15 hits here. What does that mean? Well, then I could answer that. You know, I could pick up the phone and call them and give them that answer. Makes sense. Here's the other cool part about this: is when your seller's in here, like it shows Paul's in here right now. I can actually talk to Paul. So it says Paul, so I can talk with Chat. Hey, Paul. Uh, hope you are having. And you know, depending on your person, they might like it, they might not, who cares? But if you find somebody that likes to chat, you know what? It's all about relationships and building a deep relationship to get more referrals, right? So the more they know, like, and trust me, the more I communicate with them, the more I give them ways to communicate with me, the better the chance I'm going to have of building that deep relationship and having them refer me like, hey, man, oh, my God, they got this really cool thing where they update you on a weekly basis. It's automatically emailed to you. It shows where it's at. I can communicate with them. It's just I can go in there and look at any time, any time of any day of any night. It's just, it's just I love it, and that's typically what you hear, all right? All right. So another way to use this thing. So one is the weekly list report. Let's just go back to my PowerPoint here, and let me give you another way. So that's that one. Here's another one: buyer seller leads. How do you keep track of those? I mean, so we have what's called a master lead sheet, or there's many different ways to call this. So lead, I'm just going to call it agent lead sheet, and um, I'm going to call it Sally agent lead sheet. So here's Jane Doe, and here's the date, client name, email address, phone, credit repair, 
do they need credit repair? 714, repair no. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, I pulled my credit, so we pulled credit. And you can make this specific, you can change it if you want. Pulled credit. Uh, 714, 2011, repair no. Approval, approved waiting, assigned who I assigned it to. And then thank you sent, application, closing date. So you can keep track of this yourself. Here's the cool part about this, again, no matter what kind this is, I can share this with Paul. I can make one for each individual borrower if I want to. I can have a master lead sheet and then a lead sheet for um, maybe my buyers, my sellers, so that they don't get mixed. Or I could have just a column in here that says client's name, and then I want to add one that says buyer or seller, and I want to go, depending on your level of detailness, I guess, um, I can have buyer, seller buyer slash seller and then I can just say they are a buyer and then of course they are a seller um, however you want to do this okay and then you can share this with your team but the cool part about this is like and that's why I said the very first one is it's cool it's available on my phone if I go man I, I need uh, I need Jane Doe's number I can go to my phone under download the free app it's Google Drive app log in Click on Sally Agent Lead Sheet, or if you want to change the name to this, this could be anything. It could be Master Lead uh, Sheet Buyers and Sellers. Click OK. And that's what it is. So you open the lead sheet. You got the number. You just click Dial. You dial the number right there. You have everything at your fingertips 24-7. That's the part I absolutely Oh my God! I share this like we we manage ten rentals, okay? And like if if some send and, and if you own rentals, you know what I'm talking about here. Some send rent to my home. Some bring it into my office. Some drop off cash. Some like how do I physically tell my wife where you know like how do, if she gets it at home, she can go into Google Docs, put in the rent came in. I can go in there. Anybody in my office has access to that case they I'm the, I'm not there and somebody gets it. They my assistant has access to that. So there's just all kinds of stuff that you can do with this thing to just make it user friendly, easy, you know, just kind of cool, and that you don't have to ever chase anything down. So that's the that's the fun part about that. All right, so we showed you the buyers, we showed you the sellers. Let's go to um, let's go back to here. I want to show you one more thing here. Buyer lead Google Docs. So that's the buyer lead thing. So here's 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 my big thing is set up set set the notification was for the agent. Um, of course, for you. So if they edit anything or you give them access to it, you can do that. And then you, you would put that. I, I should put agent and seller. So because you want to be notified if they say anything in there. Share folder with the agent um, or assistant. And then agent to share folder with seller. And then if they do have a Google account, you can go to there. All right. Here's the big thing, and Vicki helped me with this. She's probably on the call. Setting the expectations, letting them know what you're going to do so there's no surprises in the transaction is the most important thing. You, you can even, here's some of the stuff that I've thought of that I think we'll implement, and I would recommend that you implement, is what if you had a folder, and the folder, because you can share the whole folder. That's the cool part. So I'm going to go create. I'm going to click on folder, and I'm going to call this Sally the Buyer. All right? I don't know why Sally comes to mind. What I don't know why is that. Just Sally, Sally agent. Sally agent. So I'm going to create a Word doc, and the Word doc is, uh, you know what? I'm not going to create it. I'm going to upload. I'm going to click this little upload, and I have a 25 things that could go wrong during the transaction, right? So I'm going to upload file, and I'm going to just pick this. I'm going to just pretend like it's. Uh, uh, let's just pick a picture. I'm going to upload a picture, and the picture is going to go in there. And here's this picture that I uploaded that's really a form that says 25 things that can go wrong. And then I'm going to go, all right, I want to I move this to the Sally the Buyer folder. So I'm going to put a little check mark by it. See this little folder button right here? It says move to. Google's really sly about hiding what actually everything means. Share it. I want a new folder and agent lead sheet. So move to. And I want to go to Sally, where is it at? Is at the very top. Whoops. Cancel. Move to. Uh, so why is it not showing up? We're gonna do something here. Uploaded. Still going. 
All right. Let's try this again. Should show up. For some reason, it's not showing up for me. All right, so I'm going to open it up. Here's this right here. Okay, I am opening the lead thing. I wonder if my folder didn't take place. Let me just see here. Okay, so there it is. Right. Oh, it's under leads. I'm sorry. So I put a folder under a folder. That 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 that's my bad. So it's under agent lead sheets. That's that's why I was showing that. So you see that right there. So I put a folder under a subfolder. That, that was my problem. So I'm going to go to my drive. I'm going to create and I'm going to go new folder and it should give me the. Uh, let's see, and it should, my drive, uh, here's 7, 8 Lake Shore, so I want to move this under there, and it, it should be there now, and I must be stuck under, I apologize, it's not working for me right now, I must be putting this under something else, Paul, this is very strange. What Sally did you lose Ryan. your doc? Yeah, well, no, I, I, I'm under a subfolder. See the subfolder here? Yep. Sally Lead Buyer, there it is. So I want to move to rename change. Then I should have removed it. Shared with me, shared. All right. Let's get out of here. Let me just go back to drive. Refresh the whole thing. Create folder. So I think you guys get the idea though. Uh, demo folder. There we go. So I should have Sally. There we go. Sally demo folder. So here's a lesson that I just learned for myself. When you want to create a folder, make sure that you're out of all other stuff just by clicking drive and like starting from fresh. So now that I got 738 Lakeshore Drive and I want to put it inside maybe a Sally folder and I want to put in there the 21 things when buying a home or selling a home, here's the survey of the property and I want to keep everything in that folder. Now I can click on this, move to a folder and um, go to Sally's demo folder and all I do is check on it and it puts it in that folder. Move and now inside the demo folder is whatever I want to put in there. So again, Click on Drive, important lesson that I just learned, doing it live in front of 300 and some people. That was nice, kind of feels stupid, right? Now say I wanted to upload a document, another one, and put it into the folder, you could do that. Click on the Upload thing, you create it, and then move it into the Sally Demo folder. So whatever you want to do, you could have, and once the folder is created, like if I want to open this, the Sally folder, and I want to, new folder in Sally Demo folder, I want to create a new one in there. There's all kinds of different things you can do here. So depending on how organized you want to be or not organized you want to be is, I guess, the whole, the whole presentation. So the Google Docs, AMM, check this out. Here's a PowerPoint. It kind of shows you what it is. Here's an Excel. Here's a folder. Here's a PowerPoint presentation. Here's a Word doc. So there's all kinds of different stuff you can do, and it kind of shows you. Here's a, uh, what a movie. Here's a movie that I uploaded in here. So all kinds of stuff. So here's the Google Doc PowerPoint. Check this out. So here's the PowerPoint that I just shared with you inside Google Docs. And it says present. So if I click on present, present from beginning, present from speaker notes, there's all kinds of different stuff. You're looking at, can you see this up here, Paul, where it says Google Drive is now full screen? Yep. Okay. So here it is. You just go through it. You just like you just like you're giving a presentation, but now it's in the clouds. I never will lose it. See this little thing down here? Exit full screen, options. You can do slide ins, fly ins, fly outs, all kinds of different stuff. All kinds of crazy stuff you can do inside Google. And it's I can share this PowerPoint if I want to with Paul. If Paul makes any updates to it, I can go to Tools. Uh, let's see, Tools, Research, Define. And I want to share it. I want to make a copy of it so I don't lose it or, or like, like do something to it that I don't want to. I can publish it to the web. This is pretty cool. The one last thing I'll share with you guys. Say that I have a PowerPoint that I want to publish to the web and share with my team. And I got a team of, you know, maybe a bunch of agents or I have a new listing that, I, that I've that made a PowerPoint on that I want to share with my team. I'm just making an example. I can publish to the web. Start publishing. Yes. And now there's a live link to this thing. So if you guys go to um, this link right here, of course, you're going to get this, you know, just contact the loan professional. But 
I can embed, check this out, I can embed the HTML code inside of my blog if I want to for a presentation purposes. I can change the size of it, small, medium, large, custom, and automatically advance presentation to the next slide. So you can change the how often it changes when somebody's viewing it. Is that crazy? So, and so you could have a presentation on a blog of a new property and have this thing flashing through with, like you could upload a bunch of virtual tours into a PowerPoint inside of this um, presentation and have it just flashing through automatically on your big screen TV through your computer. Kind of crazy. So let's take some questions, Paul. Just had a fantastic one that I was unable to answer. Okay. And let me see if I can find that. Um, so it's a two-part question. The question originally came from um, James uh, Eichmann, Eichenbaum. Always got good questions. James is on here every single week, and he always has these really tough questions for me, and he's got me on one today. It says, can you link sheets, i.e. master lead sheet, to a specific seller follow-up sheet? And I said, no, that I didn't believe you could link. And so he came back with so unlike Excel where you can, I guess on Excel what you can do is you can pull a cell from one sheet and add it to another sheet. Like if I've got a master client sheet and I want to pull my comments section from um, my, my Sally agent sheet and move it to my master sheet, I can do that inside of Excel. Is, are you able to do that inside of Drive 2? I don't know. I don't know that part of Excel well enough to be able to say yes or no on that. Uh, that's. I would have to Google that. That's one of those. That. That's one of those super duper Excel added so dealies think, that I so don't I think, know about. So what he's so what he's asking is, can I take one sheet like this sheet and actually link this box to another sheet, maybe yes. or another? Yes. Yeah. So let me just do all sheets. So let's do add sheet. Oh, so that's just adding sheet number two. Um, let's see, open new. It's from template. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of templates too. If you guys want to search Google Drive templates, it's insane how many free templates there are. It's pretty cool. Um, spreadsheet settings. I would have to play with this actually, and you know, there's got to be a way. Google. And you know who the expert? Karen is the expert on on Excel sheets. I mean, she knows all those formulas and all those added little features that that yeah, I know how to open. I know how to create a cell. I know how to right click and insert a new cell. But above and beyond yeah. that, that's about the that's about my skill level on on Excel spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's yeah, me too. And I, I don't get I just yeah, um, I don't get crazy with it. Chart, image, form, drawing, script. Yeah, that's a great question, man. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure there's a way to conditional formatting. Um, there's some crazy, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. You can do. I mean, they literally Google is pretty dang. They got some of the best employees in the world, so I'm sure there's ways to do it. Um, there's all kinds of different options, as you see up here, and that's that way for every form you want to create. So if you want a Word doc, same thing. This drawing thing's pretty cool. I mean, there's just a million different things you can do here, but. Yeah, that's a great question, man. That's a great question. So, um, can you pull a cell in from another cell? I will. Uh, that's a great thing to know. So, if we find that out, we'll share it with you next week. How about that? Yep. Perfect. Another, yeah. So if you, or, or if you find it out, you know, feel free to share on the group page. Again, um, that's at. Let's go back to the very beginning here. That's at uh, this right here. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. Again, it's uh, just an amazing group that we all hang out at, get uh, information from, and questions and just it's just a just a good time. So, um, any other questions, everybody? Um, just James saying it's a great way to do a presentation on a tablet. Um, we could make. Oh, Scotty, if you could show where you've got a lot of people posted in when you posted the link to where you've got the the lead sheet that you're per, you're sharing. If you okay. could put okay. that up there for just a minute for everybody to to write yep. that down. Also, guys and girls, I am getting a lot of you. We we touched on it in the very beginning, but I'm getting a lot of you at the same time asking how you can get a copy of this PowerPoint and then be able to watch the class again. Scott, when we're doing Google Drive, there's so much to go over. We go a little bit yeah. fast. So, again, I, you know, don't try and take notes during the live presentation. 
refer back to the recording. You can pause, fast forward, rewind the recording. A lot of you are asking how to get access to it. All you have to do is contact the loan professional who invited you today. They can get you a copy of the PowerPoint. They can get you access to the replay, as well as some of our previous classes. Um, you, can, you can get caught up on some of the replays on that, especially last week's class where we talked about the results in advance presentation, where this week's class kind of came from. What we talked about last week is it, the reason we're showing how to create these things today is last week we talked about having things like this to be able to provide a results in advance type of feeling to your potential buyers uh, right. to get them to, to know, trust, and like you and want to work with you. And so today is kind of... It's kind of the how-to on what we talked about last week. So make sure you get last week of the strategy behind what we're doing today to really fully understand. To get access to that, again, all you've got to do is contact the loan professional who invited you today, and they'll be happy to get you that information. Sweet. Excellent, man. So, yeah, I guess, um, I guess the, the, the whole moral of the story, the mindset behind this is figure a way, whether it's, whether it's with uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box.com, figure a way to move into the cloud so that you don't have to go to the office at 7, 8 o'clock at night. Everything is literally, when I did, here's my little scene complete down here. Here's my little Google Drive when I did the, uh, just backing up here real quick. When I went to download drive to your PC, when you do this, it automatically just puts all your drives. So I can now automatically save to my drive if I want to, but I can also open it up, open Google Drive folder, and here's all of the Google Drives exactly how they are inside Google Drive. So all my folders, everything, it's just really, and here's the other cool part about having it on your computer is yes, it's in the clouds, but you can search for it. So say for example, I wanted to search for uh, what are you looking for in the new home? There's a little report there. So what are you, let me just make a liar out of me here. So let's see how it shows all the search results. And it actually, here's the ones on my physical computer in Dropbox. See a little green check? Here's the one in my Google Drive. See how it looks different? So if you can see, you can't see it because I didn't do it right, but you, you, it allows you to search right from your search criteria all your documents you have. So you're not going, okay, is that, is that document in Google Drive or is it in Dropbox or is it on my computer? It's just always, it's always available by search. Does that make sense? Yes. That's a, huge, that's a huge key feature there because if I don't know if you guys knew this or not. This is maybe something we should cover really quick I'd like to end this. If you ever want to search any document anywhere on your computer, on your Dropbox folder, on your Google Drive if you download it to your desktop, is if you go to right here and you search, let's just say, let's just pull this up here and search for, um, let's, see, how to, let's see, how to build realtor relationships. Let's see, homestead rules for second home. See that right there? Homestead rules for second home. So I want to, you know, man, I know that I have a document. Where the heck is it, right? Homestead, oops, if I can spell it right, rules. Or just put in, let, let me just put in homestead. Homestead, homestead rules, you see how that comes up? So if you ever want to find a document, you can literally just, instead of looking through all your documents or all your downloads or all everything, just, I just always go down here and search for it. it whether it's a PowerPoint, a Word, a bit, I mean anything, whatever you saved it as is going to show up in the search criteria. All right? That's a huge time saver. Another way to do it, here's another way that I like. If you push Control F, Control, like the Control button and F, and you, it throws this little search up here. You guys see this? Yep, Control Find. Control Find, Control F. Make sure you're on the document. This works on websites. This works on Excel spreadsheets. It works on Word doc where you got 10 pages. It'll literally find whatever word you want. So see this where it says uh, Jen, new leads? If I put in Jen, it's going to pull up everything that has Jen in it. See that? So control F. Like say that I go to CNN.com. And I want to go, man, like Scott's told me about some story on CNN.com. It talks about... Uh, this is maybe not a good site to be on, but NSA. If I go Control F, NSA, see how it pulls up the it highlights the NSA right there? And if I click the next arrow, it goes to the next one. It goes to the next one. Wherever it is. Let's see where's it at. I don't know where it went. But 
any any document, any form. Say I want to find one, two, three test drive. Obviously, this is obvious, but one, two, three. It changes the color. See that? So Control F and then search down here for documents. That'll literally save you. I don't know, saves me hours and hours and hours trying to find through, look through all my downloads, all my documents to find something. Just go right to your search and look for it. Or if you're on a document, you go, man, where is that word? Where, where, you know, where's that I'm looking for? It literally control F and it'll it'll go right to it. All right. Excellent, man. Appreciate it. Scotty, can you think today. of a way? One one last question for you, Scotty. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, and this one's coming from Jody. Her question is on the Google Drive, the desktop version of Google Drive, yeah. she'd like to find a way to be able to have multiple, more than one account on the desktop version. Now, if you're downloading it, you're downloading a specific user ID version of it. It's downloading that specific one. I don't suppose you could log into your, your another Google account bring up Drive and download that one too, would that just merge them into one, I mean, would that just merge it into all those documents into one PC version? Yeah, what, you, what you'd have to do is you'd have to quit Google Drive and then log back in as the new account. I don't know of any way to have two or two Google accounts. I know you can have well, different... And, and, and on the web version, that's no problem. I can just log in right, and out of the, right. the versions, but mm -hmm. on the desktop version where I'm actually downloading the desktop version, yeah. God, would yeah, there we'll be a way to, to do two separate ones or no? You'd have to it, – it's it's syncing to that one specific account. Yeah, I think it's syncing to that specific account. But, I mean, that'd be – I mean, that's a great question to have multiple Google accounts because that'd be um, kind of nice. Get more storage discount. discount. Yeah, you, you, you'd basically have double the storage for free. And, you you know, I mean, you just got two different instances. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and Google's pretty smart, so they might, they might not let yeah, you Yeah, they it. probably covered their bases on that one. Yeah, but if you find a way, let us know, man. That's a great idea. It's That's really a fantastic yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting yeah. idea. Not sure. Yeah. It, Google's probably protects that. Uh, yeah, but, man, I love I love the, God, the, the minds on this thing. And you guys, like, a lot of people are going, why would you want to do that? Well, I know exactly why. So, like, you got seven gig free and you got four Gmail accounts. You got 7, 14, 21, 28 gig of storage in four separate emails. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm on it, man. Yeah, I, that's it. Yeah, what are you paying now for the 37 you're getting, 25 bucks or 50 bucks a year? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, and, George, uh, the only here's... cost on Google Drive is if you get above the free 15 gigabytes that they give you. Yeah, and if you want more, um, I think it's under the settings tab. So, like, right under the settings tab, right here. I forgot to show you guys that. If you'd like to, if you, if you want to change the switchboard too, you can change it to the look of it, whatever you want to change it to. But um, here's the under the under the gear and then settings. It'll actually give you chance to buy, and the storage is so dirt cheap. Yeah, it's like five uh, bucks for an extra ten or something, or five gig. Uh, so here's where I'm 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 gonna have to go ahead and delete some, but it shows you where you're using all your storage at. Obviously, Gmail is taking up twenty gig of of storage, uh, which is just insane. So I'm gonna go through and delete. But um, Drive is only taking up five point six seven. But he, check this out. I got and, and that's it, guys. Look somewhere. at what he just said. Go, Google Drive is only taking up five point six seven gigabytes of space right now. And you guys saw. I mean, he has. I mean, you got 200 documents on there right now. Yeah, I don't even know. It's insane how many. I don't even know. Videos, um, images, spreadsheets, forms, now? tracking just, sheets. It's, yeah, it says 90. It says uh, I'm full there, but uh, last modified. Here's the way to sort it. But I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know. Does it say how many? I don't think it gives you a number. Uh, ownership on by forms. All kinds of cool stuff in here. So. Awesome man! Great questions, great brains on this call. I love, I love hanging with you guys. I love the, I love the techie, just hot, just deep, deep techie questions, man. Absolutely awesome. love that yeah. stuff. And guys, I know there's a lot of questions you guys still have. This, I mean, we could sit here for a couple hours and 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 still not cover all the questions. Definitely get in touch with the loan professional who invited you today. Get access. Watch the recording. The recording has the ability to pause it, rewind it reiterate some of the things that are being talked about so you can implement these strategies. Um, a couple of people have asked, do we use this as our CRM system? No, we don't. 
but it can it, it you know you're thinking outside the box it could definitely be used for that guys the only limits to what Google Drive will allow you what you can use Google Drive for is you're only limited by your imagination if you think it right. can be able to, you know get a good idea about a CRM and having your your database and your spreadsheet there where you can share it with whoever your assistant who needs to email to absolutely it's a great place to store your data and to and to track yeah. it and to keep specific notes on your database why not yeah. you know if if you don't have anything else right now if you don't have a CRM some sort of way to keep track of and mine your database yeah. absolutely use Google Drive for that yeah. if you don't have something right now that allows you to create your own custom squeeze forms and put them onto Craigslist to generate your own buyer and seller leads mm -hmm. absolutely use Google Drive for that if you don't have a place right now where you can do a weekly or or a yeah a weekly update for your sellers or have a tracking sheet for everybody in your office to know where buyers are at in the process to share with your loan professional who's working the process with you absolutely yeah. use Google Drive for that yeah. it's 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 really limitless I mean I I was just having a text conversation with somebody asking about well could I would I be able to take my photos at my listings and upload them from my phone right to my Google Drive absolutely, absolutely. heck absolutely. yes by all means absolutely. that is a fantastic way to fantastic use Google idea. Drive and here's the cool part here's the cool part about that you're sitting on location taking pictures of this listing presentation while somebody's back at the office you're sharing that drive with that you're up, you're uploading them to what they're creating the listing presentation that you're going to walk into in 5 minutes you walk in your listing presentation is done because you shared the pictures and she uploaded the address and the bedrooms and bath and the pictures that you just uploaded in high definition. How cool is that? I mean, within five minutes you got this thing done because you're doing it and that you're sharing that that drive and she's seeing the pictures come in as you take them. It just think out, cool. use use your outside the box thinking and guys, you have the tools available to make anything you want to have happen. If you can think it, you can make it happen. You have the tools available. You know, any we have covered most marketing strategies on this call, and this is a fantastic way to keep those things and, and automate them and simplify the way that you make them occur. So um, Scotty, again, you have outdone yourself, my brother. I love, you know, I love the Google Drive stuff. I always learn something new when I'm on the Google Drive stuff. So um, this 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 edition was no different. Um, I'm gonna try doing one of those presentations, and I'm gonna do a Craigslist ad from the presentation where the last page is the squeeze form. I'm gonna do a little test with the Craigslist ad. You give me an idea is what you did. So, you guys, girls, cool. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for joining us today, Scotty. Yeah. You are. The, uh, once again, proving to be the man, the myth, and the legend. Um, we appreciate all you bring to the table. Um, if you'd like a copy of today's recording, today's PowerPoint, or any of the last eight that we've done to get kind of caught up on what we're doing here and the direction we're helping you guys go and, and work on your business instead of in your business, simply contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll get you complete access. And a lot of the times, they're there working on the same strategies you are, and you have an implementation and accountability partner right there at your fingertips. Amen. Everybody, have a safe, exciting, and fun rest of the week. Make it happen. Make it a great day. Enjoy your mornings, and uh, make the best of them. Appreciate everything you got, and we'll see you right here next week on Agent Mastermind. Take Scotty, care, I will see you next Monday, brother. Absolutely, man. Looking forward to it, brother. See you, bud. Take care. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.